What's up people of the internet? I'm the big boat here with yet another video. In this video we will be testing the Intel Celeron N2840 which is a CPU based on the Silvermont architecture and part of the Petra family of power efficient processors. It has two cores with no hyper threading of course and it has a burst frequency of up to 2.58 GHz. The Celeron N2840 has the Intel HD graphics page rail as the integrated graphics, which have 4 unified shaders and a burst frequency of up to 792 MHz in this Celeron's case. It's also based on the same Ivy Bridge architecture as the Intel HD 4000, weirdly enough. We're using the latest Javax fluid available. We also have 4GB of RAM in single channel mode as well as a 500GB hard drive for the operating system and also on which game that we'll be playing today is installed. As for operating system we're using Windows X Lite Redstone Revival version 2. You can find the full description of the specs in the video description down below. The game that we'll be benchmarking today is Crisis 3. This is the third, final and most toasty version of Can My Potato Harvested from Grandpa's Farm Run Crisis? So let's get straight to the points now!
well, what do you expect? Of course the third crisis was going to run badly. Still, just like crisis 2, you can make crisis 3 run less badly too. So I'm gonna show you how to do it. Just like with crisis 2, a specific config 2 is needed for the job. Called crisis 3 CVAR configurator. You can download it from this page that you are seeing. After downloading it, you can extract it whenever you want. However, it's recommended to extract it to your crisis free game directory. Still, we're going to extract it to users, your PC's username, saved games, crisis free, because we will return to this folder later on. Anyway, now let's open the config2. This is how it looks like. If you extracted the tool to your crisis free directory, you can skip this step. But if you extracted it somewhere else like in our case, click on choose directory and from this window, just go to where your crisis free folder is located and choose it like that. We can now proceed with the tweaking. First, go to graphics features, here, disable particle collisions and not tick everything that is well ticked. Second, go to graphics streaking. Here we have quite a lot of values. We need to set them to as low as possible. You can do it more quickly with the help of your mouse scroll wheel. Or if you want to save your finger from suffering, just skip to when I've lowered them to as low as they can go and then pause the video and lower them. Don't forget to disable the ambient occlusion. After torturing my finger, let's save the changes, which you do by simply clicking on apply settings and let's go back to the Celeron melting service. Try 
So there isn't all that much of an improvement, but it doesn't mean there isn't any. So I think it was kinda worth the effort, you know? And the game still looks pretty good graphics wise, in my opinion at least. Many of you are probably asking, why didn't I test the game at a lower resolution than 1034x768? Well, it's because 1034x768 is the lowest resolution that this game allows by default, which um, really sucks, I know, but there is a way to lower the resolution further. Remember where we extracted the configuration to earlier? Well, in that same folder, there is a config file called game.cfg. If you open it with notepad, you will find R width and R height values, which control the game resolution, obviously. If you change them to something lower and supported by your PC, such as 800 and 600 respectively, you can actually trick that pesky resolution. So let's see how Crisis 3 looks and runs on the N2840 at 800 by 600 which is probably your favorite low-end resolution. Then finally let's test Crisis 3 at my favorite low end resolution, 640x400.
Right, so this is Crisis uh, 3 with the absolute highest settings as you can see, 1366x768 resolution, everything including the anti-aliasing is at, as high as it, as it can get, the texture quality as well to very high, system specs, let me show you more, more in detail, let's try to go to the advanced graphics. Yep, everything on very high except for the for the anisotropic filtering. Let's set that to 16. Let's apply. And uh Wow! Look at that! That is outstanding performance! Just outstanding performance! Look at that! Two freaking FPS with Celeron Champion! Remember that, you idiots! With Celeron Champion! So, yeah, the Celeron M2840 can run Crisis 1, Crisis 2. And Crisis Free! The Entry 840 is above all! Celerons are the best!